do that. I'm going on. I'm going on uh, YouTube, and so I'm going on social media right now. So I've just turned on social media, and uh, we will get ready to get started in just a just a few minutes. So I'm, I'm Sister Lisa. Who who else is here? I'm sorry, I don't know your name. Well, it's going to be quite a few of us. We're probably not going to be able to introduce all of ourselves, but uh, th those that are okay, those that are here now, if you if you'd like to say your name, that's that's fine. Fine. No, me. it's okay. It's okay. We're all we all are, are brothers and or sisters in Christ. Oh, absolutely, sisters, absolutely. Yes. Yes. That's all we need to know. That's all we need to know. Okay. Um. um Dr. Kelly, are we about ready to go ahead and to start? Dr. Kelly on the line. I didn't hear. I didn't hear her, I didn't, I didn't hear I didn't her already. Yeah. Part of a George is one when they said that that was the who was on the line. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. All right. Well, uh, we're going to go ahead and get started. It is. It is seven o'clock. I see Sister Diane is on already on YouTube and or, or so or, or Facebook. Thank you. Uh, so glad to see you. Uh, I know that you are with us tonight, Sister Diane. Uh, we are getting ready to start. Uh, tonight's uh, tonight's lesson is justice in the vineyard, justice in the vineyard, uh, and it's uh, taken from Matthew, the book of Matthew, chapter twenty, verses one through sixteen, and we have some additional verses that are that will give us greater insight as to what we are doing. And Sister Whitney, I do see you. Good evening to you also, uh, and thank you for happy to be here. But let us now have a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, once again, we come into your holy presence, knowing, Lord God, uh, with you and through you and with nothing. Bless us now, Father, as only you can, as uh, each of us believers in, in you and, and in Christ, that we have an opportunity to be able to know your word and to be able to know us, that we may be able to see you and know you uh, as you know us. Bless us each tonight, anoint us afresh, mm -hmm. that we may be able to understand, mm -hmm. Lord God, that you really are the sovereign God, and without you, uh, mm -hmm. nothing is possible, but with you, all things are possible. Mm -hmm. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, amen. 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 All right, now, tonight, uh, again, we are, uh, we are in uh, parables, and this particular parable, uh, uh, Justice in the Vineyard, uh, is actually uh, unique. It's unique only to the Gospel of Matthew. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. And the and, and uh, huh? Workers. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And um, theologians agree that it is probably maybe one of the more difficult uh, parables to uh, to interpret. But we're going to try to unpack it the best that we can. And uh, but but before I really go directly into the parable, uh, I think it be, it would behoove us to kind of take a moment to review a couple of things that led uh, Jesus to speaking uh, uh, this particular parable to his disciples and to others. Uh, Jesus had not long finished speaking with uh, a rich young ruler about eternal life. And so we're going to ask um, Minister George and Sister Jewel if they will read uh, uh, the 19th chapter of Matthew, verses 16, uh, uh, 16 through 22 initially. All right. I can't hear you. Uh, uh, yeah. Somebody, 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 somebody have me on YouTube. You're going to need to. You're going to need or, or Facebook. I'm, I'm hearing an echo. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. All right. You ready? Yes, sir. Now, behold, one came and said to him, Good teacher, what the recording has started that I may have eternal life. So he said to him, why do you call me good? No one is good, but one, that is God. But if you want to enter into life, keep the commandment. He said to him, which one? Jesus said, 
You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness. Honor your father and your mother, and you shall love your neighbor as yourself. The young man said unto him, All these things have I kept for my youth up. What lack I yet? Jesus said unto him, If thou wilt be perfect, go and sell that, that go and sell that thou hast and give to the poor, and thou shalt have treasure in heaven, and come and follow me. But when the young man heard that saying, he went away sorrowful, for he had great possessions. Uh, thank you. You know, uh, I, as I as I reviewed uh, this particular one, uh, one of the things that came to my mind, uh, Minister George read that uh, the young man uh, asked, um, uh, uh, he says, uh, the young man said in all the, no, he says, uh, uh, he says, keep, and when Jesus said, uh, keep the commandments, the young man asked Jesus, which? You know, and I had to really look at the word which, and I found out that the, the reason that this young man was so concerned about the commandments, uh, certainly there were the law commandments, but there were also some pharisaic laws and commands that they had put on, put on themselves, and and there were there were four hundred and forty eight um, uh, uh, pharisaic. Uh, commandments, and there was 365 prohibitions, the things that they were not supposed to do. Mm -hmm. So I can understand why the young man asked, which one? You know, you know, you got 600 and some odd commandments. You don't know what you're going to do. But, but with that, he was tremendously relieved <clears throat> when, uh, <clears throat> when Jesus actually told him the ones, and he eagerly said, these are the ones. <clears throat> the young man said, "All these things I have kept from my youth." So he he was relieved. To, but when Jesus told him to go and sell, the Bible said that uh, he went away sorrowfully. So, in essence, because the ruler put more confidence in his worldly possessions. Uh, he in turn um, ended up leaving uh, without accepting Jesus' Im invitation. And actually, he is the only, this is the only occasion when Jesus' invitation was rejected uh, by anyone. So, but after, after he rejected it, Jesus turns to his disciples. And uh, Sister um, Jewel, can you now read verses 23 and 24? Then said Jesus unto his disciples, Verily I say unto you, that a rich man shall hardly enter into the kingdom of heaven. And again I say unto you, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of God. Okay, now, so 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 we know that unlike uh, some um, beliefs, uh, the eye of the, uh, the, uh, the, the the eye of a needle is not a gate in Jerusalem. It actually is talking about a darning type needle, and uh, certainly it is understood that a camel cannot go through uh, a needle a needle's eye. Mm -hmm. But 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 this prompted the disciples to ask Jesus the question: Who then can be saved? who then can be saved. And, and the reason that this question is important is because in the Judaism, uh, Judaism culture and belief in God, it was believed that those who had great wealth also was a sign of God's approval on their life. Uh, good evening, Sister Karen, as well as Sister Rosa. Thank you for joining us tonight. And, and, and so, uh, and by God, and by God bestowing upon this rich young ruler all of the wealth that, 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 that you know, all of this wealth, there is no way 
There is no way that anyone could ever conceive that this young man was not saved, nor that he would not receive eternal life. In response, Jesus addressed uh, both, you know, you know, uh, uh, both the notion of wealth as well as salvation. Because if the young, rich, young ruler, which is a sign of wealth and sign of God's approval, how can a poor man be saved? So that's the question. Mm. So Peter and them, Peter went straight to the thing. Wait a minute now. If wealth is a sign of God's approval and God and, and a person's relationship with God, how is it that a poor man, how is it that he can be saved? And right. so so certainly based upon culture, right? So, so yeah, based upon yeah, culture, probably. based upon uh, material thing, the poor man did not have anything. Mm -hmm. So in response, Jesus uh, answers that. And uh, Sister Rosh, if you can now read verse 26 for me. But Jesus beheld them and said unto them, with men, this is impossible, but with God, all things are possible. Okay, so, so Jesus went straight to it, went straight to the question. He said, no, you, 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 you're right. No one really can be saved because with man, that's, it's, it's impossible. Man does not have the ability of being able to save anybody. But the God we serve, with God, all things are possible. Good, good evening, Sister Annie. Nice, nice to know that you're with us tonight. So, so at this point, Peter was still thinking. He was still thinking about the wealthy. But he was also thinking about the poverty of the disciples. So then Peter asked Jesus another question, and this is in verse 27 of that 19th chapter, Sister Roshka. Then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee. What shall we have therefore? Okay. Now, you, you heard Sister Roshka read that, read that verse. What do you think stands out in that verse? Now, uh, she's going to read it again. What do you think stands out the most in that verse? Sister Royster. Then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee. What shall we have therefore? Any thoughts? Mm. Okay. Well, yeah, he had given up. Peter had given yeah, up he, everything. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, 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 that, that's that's good enough. Because Peter, what Peter was saying, what Peter is saying is that you know you 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 think about it. In response to God's Jesus picking his <coughs> picking his disciples, all he did was walk by and he told them, "Follow me." Mm -hmm. Follow me. Yeah. And the he Bible said, uh -huh. and the Bible said they left everything. Yeah, he was. They left everything. Mm -hmm. So Peter had left his gainful employment mm -hmm. as a fisherman. Yeah. He had forsaken his business, his family, his family, right? Mm -hmm. His in income and everything else just to follow Christ. Yeah. So therefore, from a from a human perspective, Peter was curious concerning the rewards that he could expect doing it. by doing it. Exactly. Yeah. What, what, what's he gonna get? What we don't. It? He, it's almost like, what's in it for me? Right. What's in it for me? That's right. And, and you know, you know now. Now, you know, before we criticize Peter, I, I think all of us got some some of that. What's in it for me in the back of our minds now? Okay, so uh, so let, so 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 people do people who live in glass houses do not throw any stones. So we can't throw any stones at Peter. We're we'll gonna mess around and break some of our windows. All right, uh, Sister Deborah, uh, we thank you for being on tonight. So so. So Jesus then 
gives his disciples a promise of rewards. And he said, in, in this life and in the life that's going to come. He said, you know, that, that, that he said, even to the point that they would share thrones. I mean, he told them that there are thrones in heaven when he establishes his kingdom, that they would sit on thrones with him. And in addition, Jesus tells the disciples that whatever good things that they have forsaken for his sake, all of that would be returned to them 100 fold. My brothers, I don't mean no harm, but you and I may not be no investment bankers, but that sounds like a good deal to me. <laughs> that that's that sounds like a good deal. Mm -hmm. So so cause because you think you think you, you think about it. If I you know if I can have my 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 my, my wealth, if you could give me wealth while I'm down here, and then you could give me eternal life and all the other things, and you know, I got a great retirement program in, in heaven and I all that kind of stuff too. And mm -hmm. you know, I, I got a hospitalization plan that that's second to none and you know, hey, everything is good. Everything is good. That's right. So, 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 but, but, same like a benefit. Same, it's, it's a great benefit. It's a great benefit. But, but, but without question, I, I can kind of see, uh, I can see uh, uh, Peter's eyes dazzling and just thinking about. But then Jesus makes, makes a statement uh, of saying, but many that are first shall be last and the last shall be first. In, in other words, Jesus warned them that though some who were first, who were first in their own eyes, in their own, in their eyes, okay? Those who were first in their eyes would be last in the judgment, in the eyes of God. And some who were last in their eyes, meaning that the least of these would actually end up first in the kingdom of God. So, 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 so really that's when this parable gets ready to begin now, but I want to, I want to do a disclaimer on this parable. Now, first of all, this, this, this parable has nothing to do with salvation. Okay. It has nothing to do with salvation. And, 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 and I particularly want to stress the point that because uh, of wages, a penny, or the or or, or, or uh, denarius, it does not represent salvation. We all must remember that salvation is not of works. Can we all agree on that? We can't earn it. Yes. Salvation right. is a gift of God. It's only by God's right. grace do we receive salvation. So, 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 uh, uh, <clears throat> and we know that every man <clears throat> will, re will be rewarded differently based upon uh, his, his works. Mm -hmm. And Sister Royster is going to read 1 Corinthians, the third chapter, verse 8, that's going to verify that in our scripture. Sister Royster. Now he that planteth and he that watereth are one. And every man shall receive his own reward according to his own labor. Okay, so we now know that what, what Sister Janice does, I cannot get benefit of. What Sister Roster does, Minister George cannot get benefit of. Mm -hmm. Every one of us mm -hmm. must work out our own salvation, mm -hmm. right. and God will reward us based upon our own labor our labor yeah. so I, I can't i can't ride i can't ride the coattails of my daddy and my mom i can't yeah. do that yeah i gotta i gotta stand for myself sister amy glad to see you online tonight but well, thank and you thank god Pop. for that and brother pop uh now uh sister janice could you now read the we are now in ver in matthew the 20th chapter okay Matthew okay. 20th chapter, right. verses 1 through 7. For the kingdom of heaven is like unto a man 
that is an householder, which went out early in the morning to hire laborers into his vineyard. And when he had agreed with the laborers for a penny a day, he sent them unto his vineyard. And he went out about the third hour and saw others standing idle in the marketplace and said unto them, Go ye also into the vineyard, and whatsoever right I will give you. And they went their way. Again, he went out about the sixth and ninth hour and did likewise. And about the eleventh hour, he went out and found others standing idle and said unto them, Why stand ye here all the day idle? They say unto him, because no man has hired us. He said unto them, go ye also into the vineyard, and whatsoever is right, that shall ye receive. Thank you, Sister Janice. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Now, as we have learned from other parables, as well as other teachings of Jesus, uh, about the, especially about the kingdom of God, uh, the, the, the word is, is that your attitude will determine your altitude. Your attitude will determine your altitude, meaning that God does not see us from the outside. God sees us from the inside. He knows whether or not we got the right attitude. Okay. So with that, so this particular parable is, is a two-part parable. In the first part of it, as Sister Janice has read, this landowner goes out five different times during the day to hire laborers for his vineyard. Now, during Palestinian times, it was customary for those who desired to be employed, it was customary for them to assemble in the marketplace, uh, normally at the city gates, at daybreak. That's when the sun was about to rise or rising. So anyone who desired to hire workers, the owners, they would go to the marketplace, they would select workers, and they would agree on a wage for that day's work. Once selected, the laborers would go to the field and they would work all day until sundown. Okay, so sunset. So true to form, just as it was custom, the landowner, landowner goes to the marketplace and he hires these workers. We don't know how many he hired, he just hired some. And, and, but if we look closely, we will notice that there are two kinds of workers that were hired. Initially, the owner went when he went to the marketplace he hired those who wanted a contract and they agreed to work for a denario which is a penny a day one penny mm -hmm. now though it though it is not quite known except maybe for the amount of the work to be done the landowner returned back to the marketplace he returned to them at the third hour, which is nine o'clock, the sixth hour, which is 12 o'clock, the ninth hour is at 3 p.m. in the afternoon, and the 11th hour is at 5 p.m. But each time he returned to the marketplace, he found additional workers who were not working, but, but rather than entering into a contract with them to pay a specific amount, he, he told them that whatever is right, I will give you. Is, is, is that a fair assessment of what Sister Janice has already read? And anybody, any, any thoughts, any questions on those seven verses? Yeah, that's what he said. Okay. Yep. All right, well, we're going we're gonna to move on. Okay, now, Sister Jewel. If you could now read verse 8 
through 12, please. So when the even would come, <clears throat> the Lord of the vineyard said unto his steward, Call the laborers and give them their house, beginning from the last unto the first. Came, wait a minute. And when they came that were hired about the eleventh hour, they received every man a penny. Mm -hmm. But when the first came, they supposed that they should have received more. And they likewise received every man a penny. Mm -hmm. And when they had received it, they murmured against the good man of the house, saying, These lads have wrought but one hour, and thou hast made them equal unto us, which have borne the burden and the heat of the day. Okay, thank you, Sister Joel. <laughs> but no, okay. no, just right there for right now. All right. My, 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 my thought my thought process my question is do you feel that the laborers have any real complaint how many how, how much did each uh, okay how, how much did each laborer receive a penny a penny a penny, a penny. It's a penny. Okay, so they, they got each one got a denario, which is a penny. Mm -hmm. Now, now, but especially now you think about some of the laborers began at sunrise, 6 a.m. in the morning. The next time right. uh, uh, workers joined was at nine o'clock, and then twelve o'clock, three o'clock, and at five o'clock. Now he now they started at giving out money at the end at the end of the day and they started with those who started at 11 at 5 a.m at excuse me i said 11 o'clock mm -hmm. uh, at 5 p.m in the evening and they received a penny mm -hmm. the same amount mm -hmm. that was those who began at sunrise at 6 a.m at, at six, by, by, by five o'clock, they had already worked eleven hours. But now this, right, were, right. now this one group of individuals at five o'clock worked from five to six. They now receive the same wage as those that started at sunrise. Mm -hmm. Now, right now. Right. We, we we are told that it's the generosity of the landowner. Those who worked only an hour received a penny. And, and, and in addition, each additional group of workers, not just the 5 p.m. one, but those that were hired at 9 o'clock, 12 o'clock, and 3 o'clock, they also received a penny. Okay, and now Sister Whitney, you make some, you make a very good statement. She she says that's not equitable. That's not <laughs> equitable in my opinion. And, and 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 you are you are right based upon human standards, based upon our our standards. That's not equitable. Okay, mm -hmm. at least it doesn't sound equitable. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because because. But now, now uh, some people had worked longer. They they had worked longer. They had worked longer. They had worked in the heat of the day. Matter of fact, they even talked about that they had worked during the heat of, of the day. day. And for twelve hours. Yeah. Well. Mm -hmm. Yep. They worked twelve hours. Mm -hmm. And 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 though 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 they were hot at some sun sunrise. They didn't receive not any more right. than the people received who did not work twelve hours. That, that you know, but that's everybody got the same thing. Right? Everybody, everybody got one yeah, penny. One penny. One penny. Mm -hmm. So, but that's when that's when that's when things turned a little ugly. That's when things turned mm -hmm. we turned a little a little ugly on us. Now, uh, uh, Sister Jewel, could you read? Could you read that 11th verse for us one more time, please? And when they had received it, they murmured against the good man of the house. 
Okay, okay, uh, okay. So, so when that, now you got you got some witnesses now because they <laughs> too don't think it's equitable. <laughs> These people right. that have worked twelve hours, they do not think that that's equitable <laughs> by the landowner. But you 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 think about it. Put yourself in the earlier workers' position. That's just witness telling you. They had really worked. Yeah, all day. All day long, 12 hours through the heat of the day. But yet at pay time, when those who came at 5 o'clock and worked from 5 o'clock to 6 o'clock, one hour, yeah, they got the same oh. amount of pay, one penny. Now, I, now, now, I know, I know, many of you are, are holy and sanctified. <laughs> I, I know that you're not going to complain, but, but let me, but let me, let me tell you, I, I think, I think a lot of us would have complained about that situation. Mm -hmm. That's right. I know that's right. Uh, look, <laughs> and, 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 and Sister Anna says, Houston, we have a problem. So. <laughs> She said, Houston, we got a problem. Now, yeah, yeah, that 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 rocket ship is not landing on the moon like we wanted to. No. So, but yeah, we got a problem. We got a problem now. There's a problem. There, there, there's a problem. Yeah. But 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 now, but but now let us listen to what the landowner has to say with <laughs> to say about the 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 the, the complaint about the five workers so sister lisa uh could you now read verses 13 through 16 please yes chapter 20 right yes mm -hmm. please yeah okay 13 through 16. Uh, but he answered and said to one of them friend i do thee no wrong if that it's not they'll they'll agree with me for a penny Take up that which is thine and go thy way. It is my will to give unto this last, even as unto thee. Is it not lawful for me to do what I will with my own, or is, is thine eye evil because I am good? So the last shall be first, and the first shall be last. Okay, thank you. Thank you. And and then he talks about many are, many are called, but few are chosen. Okay, so here, here we have, here we have, you know, uh, Sister Whitney has added another little, little, uh, little segment to her. She said, "I wouldn't complain. I would just show up at five o'clock the next day and just work for one hour." <laughs> Sister Whitney, you got a, you got a good sense of humor. You got a good sense of humor. I, I like you. I like. <laughs> I like I like your humor, <laughs> but 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 you but you let, let, let's think about this what this landowner has has said. The landowner reply is a statement <laughs> with a question. He he, the, he 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 makes a statement with a question, and the and the, and the statement is, friend, I do thee no wrong. If not, will you agree with me for a penny? The, the, so my question to you, those that showed up at sunrise, <laughs> did they not agree to work all day for one penny? Mm -hmm. yeah. Question, is yeah. it? Yeah, that was their agreement. Yeah. They, 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 they agreed to that. So now, 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 right. now, now, if, so in other words, though the landowner heard the workers complain, that they didn't get any more than a penny. Do the do do the do the do the do the workers have really have any argument with the with the land on? No, that was their okay. agreement. That's right. I, I heard it's the word. Agreement. I heard yeah. the word. Not really. They don't have an argument because the landowner gave them exactly what they had bargained for. That's right. Yeah, he gave now, them. do you hear me now? Yeah, he gave them. Do you hear me? What they wanted. All right. So, 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 so they, 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 they agreed. They contracted mm -hmm. to work for mm -hmm. a penny, mm -hmm. and and we know 
by the, 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 the parable uh, that they did receive that penny. Mm -hmm. So, so, but, so, but, but when, when the workers started to complain, though, uh, the owner got a little offended. And, and, and he now insists that those that were hired in the morning time take their money and leave. Go, go. Don't stay here and argue mm. with me. Just go. Then, did, did, now, now, did, did you catch that? Did you catch that? If, if you didn't, if you didn't, I'm going to, uh, uh, Sister Lisa, uh, yes. wait a minute. I've Let me been, see. Been, uh, uh, read verse 14 again, please. Okay, take up that which is thine and go thy way. It is my will to give unto this last, even as unto thee. Yeah, so the, so the landowner told him, here it is. This is yours. Get out of my face. That's go what he said. Way, I will give unto this last, even as unto <laughs> yeah. thee. Go. So, 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 so the question, does the landowner have that right to do that? Yeah, it was his field. Yeah, yeah. He, he, he has that right. Yeah, it was his he has that right. So he said, money and his he, he said, he said, why are you complaining to me? I didn't do nothing wrong. That's what he's saying. Mm -hmm. You know, and, 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 and again, in other words, they, they had agreed upon whatever. Now, now, now let, 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 let's, let's just listen. I, 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 like I said, I believe that, 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 that the landowner became offended because they they all kind of jumped on it. Oh, oh, what are you talking about? I ain't got nothing but a penny. And I know some of them started cussing. You know they would. <laughs> 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 you, 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 you know how folk get when you start messing with their money. <laughs> you, you, you start messing with my money now. Yeah. And when my money starts looking funny, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get you. Yeah. Right? Yeah. All right. So. So the landowner got a fit. complain. So, so, uh, first of all, I think the landowner got offended because the workers questioned his authority mm -hmm. of doing mm -hmm. what he wanted to do with his own money. Mm -hmm. Somebody, I'm, I'm, I'm hearing the echo on on YouTube or Facebook or whatever you got on, but you know. Uh, you know, he, he, the answer, he answered this. He says, is it not lawful for me to do what I will with mine? Mm -hmm. Does anybody have the right to tell you, uh, Sister Janice, to do, to, to, what to do with your money? I'm not talking about Johnny. Mm -hmm. Johnny married you. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? What about you, Minister George? You does anybody have the right to tell? Say so what? No, no. If I if I don't work for my money, I don't think you have yeah. the right to tell me how to spend my money. I mean, okay, all right. That's discretion for myself. Yeah, that's right. So, yeah. so, and Sister Janet, you kind of agree with that, don't you? Yeah, I yeah, do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I was a child, you had a little money, they could tell me, you know, kind of tell me. But right. I'm not a grown up. But you're a grown up now. <laughs> you're a grown up. Man. I, I, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll tell Brother Johnny when I see him. So, Brother Johnny, Janice is a grown woman. Don't, <laughs> don't, don't tell her what to, do, what to do with her money. He's like, yeah. All right. So, 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 so. so. So, but but he is he's you know but in other words in other words the the the, the, home, the, the landowner let them know I am the owner I am the one that's in charge I'm the one that got the money you can't tell me what to do with my money and I think we agree with that and, and being the owner he has the power and the authority to give the to the last hired the same amount. As those who were first hired, if that was the agreement, I know, but but he did not. He did not have an agreement with those last that were hired. He only told them, okay. "I will give you that which, which is, is right." right. Mm -hmm. And look, and 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 you think about yeah, you know, if we ain't talking about a whole lot of money, mm 
Mm-hmm. We're talking about one penny. Right. But but now now it's more than just the Lincoln penny. We 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 know that. Mm-hmm. You know, but uh but you know, let's be clear, a denarius, which was a penny, again, was not a lot of money, but but it was it was barely, but it was enough money to feed a family for one day. Mm-hmm. It was enough money in Palestinian time to feed a family for one day. And 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 really, the owner uh, never, you know, uh, would have been able to, to, to you know, uh, uh, the, the the owner never would have been able to hire those at nine o'clock and at twelve o'clock and three o'clock and at five had they not come to the marketplace. We don't know why they did not show up at at, at sunrise. I don't know. But sooner or later, they got to the marketplace. Yeah, and they wanted to be. And that's right. They, matter of fact, they, the man, the, the owner asked them, why aren't you working? Why are you standing idly by? Mm-hmm. And, they, and, and they replied, because no man gave us some work. No man gave us some work. That's right. All right? So, 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 so with, with that, understanding with that understanding that he hired them mm-hmm. they did not ask him how much they were going to get paid and he did not tell them how much they were going to get paid mm-hmm. they were just glad to work mm-hmm. hey you ever just seen some folk that's glad to work I'll give you what is right. Well, I, but I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell you the incident that happened to me, and I, I tell y'all, don't, y'all don't do that. Now, y'all don't do like I did. I, y'all don't do like I did. Now, I, early, early on when I was when I was in college, I needed a job. I I needed a job so bad. I I just started going going around different places, hiring jobs. And one one man, one man had pity on me, and, and he he told me he said, "Well, let let me let me uh uh." Yeah, come on in. I'm I'm gonna show you what we do. And I went around and I was looking at all those the things that those guys were doing and girls were doing and stuff. And I and I said to myself, if I can just get out of here, I ain't coming back. I ain't coming back. And so, but and I didn't say that then. I didn't say that then. But when I got when I finished making the tour, he said he said you got the job if you want it. I said, well, thank you, sir. I left out of that. I left out of that place, and I ain't never go back. I said, I clear. I need a job, but I clear. I can't work like that. I, man, he had all of them stretched out. He had all of them stretched out. But 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 what? But said what? What was that? Yes, sir. Can I interject for a second? Yes, you can. What is it? Okay, I was, I was going to say, uh, uh, in reference to uh, all of them that worked, even though they worked different hours, however, they only still got a day's meal. You know, yeah. all of them got a day's meal. That's what they wanted. That's well, what they agreed to. No, they didn't. They didn't agree to that. Uh, the only somebody that agreed to that were the first workers. Mm-hmm. They come track. They they are the only one that entered into a contract with the owner. And the, others, the others were on a pro, uh, was on uh on 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 the faith on faith that the man the landowner was going to give them what was right R I G H T. Mm-hmm. But th- but you think about it, okay. there was no definition as to what is right. It was only on the faith of the word of the landowner that they agree upon. Matter of fact, they they didn't even hesitate. They did not even ask how much are you paying? How, how much are you paying? They didn't ask if they could get a week's vacation. They didn't ask if they were going to pay them for overtime. Didn't ask nothing. They just said okay, and they went to work. Right, went to work. Okay, so 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 with that, with that, uh, the only the the you know, but but I'm going back. Had not the other workers gone to the marketplace, they would not have been hired even for one hour. Are we, are you with me on that now? 
even for one hour, they would not have been hired. Okay. But if you think about it, on the love and compassion of the owner and in, in his generosity, he, in his capacity, he knew that a, a penny wasn't a whole lot, but he knew that if those men came to the marketplace, they came there to earn some money. I don't know what, why, again, why they did not show up early, but they didn't. Mm -hmm. But because of his grace and his mercy, he gives them a day's wage. So, so, so remember that the subject of this lesson is justice in the marketplace. So, because these workers very well could have had a family just and were in just as dire need, may have even been in greater need than those who got up early in the morning and went to the marketplace. So therefore, in the owner's sense of justice, he gives every man a penny. Now, you think about the, 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 the those that were hired earlier. Sister Diane, you're right. They were just glad to have a job. They were just glad to have a job. So, 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 so here we are. The ones that were hired at sunrise, at sunrise, hindsight is 2020 vision. Maybe had they trusted the goodness of the owner, they may have actually received more money than what they received. Mm -hmm. What do you mean by that? I, well, I mean that, remember, they, they agreed. And told the owner, sign the contract. You all we want is one penny. That's all we want. Mm -hmm. So the owner said, "Okay, that's what you got." But had they in turn said, "I trust you. Whatever you give me, I'll be satisfied," they could have gotten more. All right, now, I can't guarantee that because I don't know that. We don't know that's how the parents. But I do know those that worked one hour got just as much as those that were had worked twelve hours. That's right. That's right. So, 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 but, but here you got these early workers. They are complaining and uh, about uh, uh, about the generosity of the landowner. Brother JT, we we're glad to have you with us tonight. You know, they, they're complaining about the generosity. The owner then asked the, the earlier workers a question. He says, is thine eye evil because I am good? In other words, the owner said, are you just, are you really complaining or are you really envious because I'm generous? Now, I would ask you a question. <laughs> Have you ever had folk that get, get upset with you just because you got some money yeah. and that you don't mind sharing it with other folk? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What? Well, no. What, you know. So what now? What is it? No. I was just going to say, I would be envious, but I would be envious of the people that only worked an hour. Well, that's right. Yeah, that, 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 yeah. But, 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 the, but, the, but the bottom line is I heard the word, you're envious of somebody. <laughs> yeah. You're envious of somebody. Yeah. So, so, yeah. so, 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 right. so, but, but, but the, but the thing of it is, is that, you know, have, have you, have you, have you ever been riding or, or you, you see somebody begging on the street and you roll your window down and somebody's in the car with you and you give that person a piece of money and somebody said, why you get that? You know, you know, they ain't going to do nothing but drink it up. Have, hold it. Have, I, I can't hear you. I've heard that. Have you heard have you ever heard people complain yeah. about your giving somebody something that you wanted to give out of your out of yeah. your heart? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. Yeah. I think all of us have. Don't give that to them. So but but my question, when they complain about your giving and it's your, do, money. And it's your money, do they have the right to complain? Mm -hmm. Right. Right. 
No, they don't. They don't. Because it's your money. You can do whatever you want with it. It's your money. And this is what the landowner is saying, is that don't be envious because I want to give my money to somebody that only worked an hour. I gave you what you asked for, so you got yours. Right. <laughs> but, 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 we, but we find ourselves getting upset with other folk who are generous toward others. And that's telling, that's letting them know, and it's letting, and we're expressing that if I were you, I wouldn't do it. That's what you're saying. I, I don't have that kind of generosity in me. I ain't going to do it. So, so, so what I'm telling you, I tell you, when you, when you point your finger at somebody else, Believe me, three more fingers are pointing back at you because mm -hmm. it's telling something about you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's what the that's what the that's what the, the landowner was saying. He said, You're complaining about me, but actually you're envious mm -hmm. of me because I got money to give to folk that you would not give to. You know, it, 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 you know, it's amazing. It's amazing the number of people who are envious of others who show compassion. You know, you know, and again, what is it saying about us? So, 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 and, and you think about it. You know, how many so-called believers find themselves? Yeah, that's right. They're selfish, and it, it, it talks about a selfish. But so, so there are so many called believers because. You know, so-called believers, but they follow Christ or they do things only because they expect to receive a reward. And or, or for that reason, how many of us question God in hope of knowing what's in it for us? Mm -hmm. Just like Peter was asking, what's in it? What will you give me? You know, you know and that's right. Peter, that's exactly what Peter was saying. He said, look, we done left everything. Mm -hmm. What did we get? What what's in it for us? Yeah, you know what did you know, I get for leaving? But but look, just like the land on sister Ross, can you read Ephesians the third chapter, twentieth verse? Because because when when we in turn are dealing with God, who is the owner and giver of all things, there's just something that we ought to be able to expect. And Ephesians the third chapter, twentieth verse. Let read that, please. Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us okay so 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 what the apostle paul is saying is that we don't we, we don't worship a shabby god we don't worship a god who has no power we worship a god who can do exceedingly abundantly mm -hmm. above every uh, above that everything asked. that we can ever think about or ask, or ask. In other words, God is infinite, infinitely more generous and gracious and will always give us better than we deserve. Mm. Mm. Better mm -hmm. than we deserve. Mm -hmm. Did he not give those that came at 11, at, at 5 o'clock p.m., did he not give them better than what they deserve? He did. He did. Yeah. He did. You know, the, you know, uh, you know, you know, the, let, let, you know, I'm going to ask Sister Rosha to read that 20, uh, 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 Matthew 19, the 27th verse again about what Peter said. Then answered Peter and said unto him, behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee. What shall we have therefore? My brothers and sisters, following Christ is not about bargaining with him as to what our reward is going to be. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what, what prompted any of us to, to, to accept Christ as our savior and began uh, allowing him to be Lord of our lives. But, but one of those things should not be that you bargain with him and, and he has told you and assured you, this is what you're going to get. Because, because, because really, you know, you know, uh, we we must not presuppose that we're going to get anything. 
especially if we really don't deserve it. The, you know, the dread of us serving God without the right mindset is, uh, you know, it's, the question is, is it possible to do God's work and not do his will from the heart? Is it possible to do God's work and not do his will from the depths of our heart? That's the question. Can we do it? Yeah, I, I think you can. Yeah, I think you we can. can. Be, you can be a good person and you still don't have to have uh, the belief in God in you. Well, you know, I you know, I, I can tell I can I can tell, but you can ask any pastor. Some some members will do things just because the pastor is looking. Yeah, that's true. Or somebody else. That's right. Looking. Yeah, because now, but but if 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 they didn't think nobody was looking at them or nobody cared or whatever, you know, they they wouldn't do it because it's not in them to do it. Mm. They they're doing it because well, the pastor's going to appreciate me more now because he see I'm doing some work. Yeah, they want. That's to. not a good reason. They're doing it for show. No. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, the, the scriptures talk about the scriptures talk about eye pleasers. And and I service uh, Ephesians the sixth chapter six verse. Not with I service as men pleasers, but as the servants of Christ, doing the will of God from the heart. Yeah, absolutely, we should never do things just so that somebody can see us do it. Well, I know, I know, I'm going to be nice. I know I'm going to get a reward. Look at me, look at me, look at me, supervisor. I'm doing my work. Mm -hmm. Come on now. We, we, you know, the, the Bible said that we need to work because we need to work like we're working for God. Working all this day. You know, you know, so, 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 so if we serve God only for the benefits, whether they are benefits while down here on earth or benefits that we expect into to receive eternally. Then just like the earlier workers who contracted to work at sunrise and misled uh, and missed the generosity of the owner, we too will miss the best, best blessings that God has for us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My brothers and sisters, to love God is to trust God. That's the bottom line. To love God is to trust God. To work for God is to trust God. Mm. To be his disciple is to trust God, mm -hmm. you know, and we can trust him because he has given us a promise in Romans 8, 28. I tell you, Sister Ross should not live by this verse. Yep. Sister Ross, if you would read it. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. My brother, you, 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 you know, uh, uh, um, Reverend Ike used to have a word. He said, you can't lose with the stuff I use. Mm -hmm. Now we laugh about that, but that's tremendous truth. You can't lose out on God. Mm -hmm. When you trust God, I'm telling you, it, it, you know, it, 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 it's it's a tremendous benefit. My, you know that that because you, you you think about it, the the the, the, the apostle Paul, all who have uh, uh, and all of us who have the mindset of what we we say, what shall we have? We are exhibiting. I think Sister Lisa's uh, uh, hit on it. We are exhibiting our selfishness, and we are we are exhibiting our pride. You know, the real question is, how do you know you will have anything? We have a, the promises of God, mm -hmm. but he does not he does not delineate what those all what all those promises are. He does not. You know, who are we to to be so overconfident that when it comes to the rewards that God gives us? Beware we we could find ourselves first in our own eyes. But we also may find ourselves last in the eyes of God. In addition, we must not get discouraged. And this, and this is what sometimes things that happen to us. We get, we get discouraged when we see the works of others and we measure ourselves by their work and by them. Mm, oh, yeah. No 
Okay. You know, I, boy, they that 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 preacher is really prospering. That church is really going through a lot. Oh, that person, my my neighbor, he got a whole lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. We cannot measure ourselves by what, by what somebody else is doing. Yeah. Somebody asked me one time when I was where I worked thirty one years at an institution, and I never asked what anybody else made other than me. You What's can't. my pay? I did not. I never asked anybody else what they made, mm -hmm. nor did I try to find out what they made mm -hmm. because I felt like I may get disappointed. Now, I probably would have. And plus, you can't spend their I money. I could not spend their money, Sister Ross. Mm -hmm. So why should I get frustrated knowing that that person beside me makes twice as much money probably than what I was making? All that was going to do is just make me mad and angry. <laughs> and I didn't want to do that. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. Because yeah, one, one person asked me, he said, Cross, aren't you the least bit curious? I said, no, I'm not. Mm -hmm. I said, I, you know, I, 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 I realized there are certain inequities in life. And more than likely, because I am who I am and what I am, I'm probably getting less. And I tell you, I don't want to have that in my mind. I I may think that, but I don't want for that to be proven. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All that's going to do is make me even more upset. Mm -hmm. So 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 so. But but when we in turn don't look at others or question others, you know, the the, the scriptures are clear. We should not judge anything before it's time. We shouldn't judge it. You know, uh, because, you know, they were all, you know, because really God is going to be the true judge. In other words, who are we to judge the worthiness of others uh, who receive the blessings of God? Right. You know, and, you know, you know, I think there's a song, what God has for you is for you. Yeah. You can't, you, you can't operate on somebody else's blessings. You can't do that. That's right. I mean, I'm, I'm, you think about it. You think I would still have these arthritic knees if I could get somebody else good healthy knees? No. <laughs> now, yeah, 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 I know that's funny, but you think about it. I don't care how many athletic people around me got great, big, happy knees and they can run a mile or, mile or two miles and whatever the thing might be. And, I'm, and I can barely walk because of, of arthritis. Yeah, yeah. I can't use their knees. But, you know, we may look at their blessings or what we feel like are blessings are from God, the material thing. We may see their works, but we got to remember, God knows their hearts. God knows their heart. You know, lastly, if we re-examine all the workers in the marketplace, after sunrise, those at 9 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 3, 5, 5 p.m., they did not ask the owner how much they trusted his words. No, how much, how much they were going to make. They trusted his word. Whatsoever is right, he said, I will give it. It was the owner's word. The scriptures tell us, after the owner's word, the scriptures tell us they went their way. They didn't question God. They didn't question their owner. So unlike these workers, the early workers did not trust God or did not trust their owner. They rather criticized him for his generosity. So even at seeing the late workers receiving money to support themselves and family. But, they, but rather they were jealous <laughs> that they did not receive more than what they bargained. And nor did they repent for their selfish attitude. So, so what is the bottom line? The bottom line is Proverbs 3, 5, and 6.
goodness. Seven, oh, four. One six eight five. Let me see if I can get back on. Welcome and thank you for choosing for conference. Five, three, seven, one, two, seven. You entered five, three. There are 15 participants in the conference. The I, recording has started. I, I, I am so, I am, I am so, I am so, I am so sorry. Uh, my, my phone got cut off for whatever reason. I think, I think I got um, kind of interrupted on 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 youtube and facebook also uh, uh you know technology is good sometimes technology is not so not not too good but I, but i but I, I i ended with this i the bottom line is proverbs 3 5 and 6 and that is a trust in the lord with all your heart lean not on your own understanding in all that ways acknowledge him and what's the rest of it, Sister Roster? And he will direct and he, your path. And he will direct your path. There is no question, my brothers and sisters, is that when you trust God, he will mm -hmm. take care of you. Mm -hmm. We never should, and we never should come to church and, and, and join the church. There are people that join church just because they think the church mm -hmm. have a little money that when they need money, they can come to the church to get it. Or they in turn can be other have other benefits. We come to worship in order to be within the fellowship of the saints. We come with an expectation of being able to fellowship with God in the midst of the saints. It's not about what we can get. It's not about what we can get. It's about what we can give. And that's why the scripture said we are the body of Christ and members in particular. So I hope I hope we didn't I hope I didn't was not gone too long on, on, on social media. I thank God for you guys allowing me to be a part of your night. Uh, and uh, with, with that, I am I am done. And I think that one question that I had, and I'm, I'm gonna leave this though. How is it that some believers feel that if persons have not served God? For an extended period of time, they will re not be rewarded uh, eternal life, or they will not be rewarded as much as they a person who will be rewarded if they've been serving God for for ten years or twenty years. A person just just come to Christ is that person equal with equal with you, or is that person equal? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Okay, talk talk a little bit louder, Dr. Kelly. Say what now? What I'm what I'm thinking is that the person's equal in regard to their fellowship with God and that it's it's, it's not like big you and little me and that type of thing. You know what I'm saying? Well, okay, all right. Uh, so 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 what you what you're saying is that um you think they are they're equal with in the eyes of God, right? Is that what I'm hearing? I'm asking you. I don't know. But what's this wrong? I think they are equal with coming when they came to Christ. You might have done more right. being involved in the interactions with Christ, but I think when they came, they're going to be just as blessed as anybody that has been in there for years. Yeah, and you know, and I think that th this parable talks about that. Yeah, well, it actually displays that. Because you think about somebody that's been running out all, all of their life and, you know, they've been, you know, they've, they've been wild women drinking and coming, every, everything that you can think of, they did it. But in their waning years or whatever, they made reconciliation with God. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and and, you know, uh, and they die. D you know, how many people really feel that person going to go to heaven? Uh, or do we feel that everything he or she did beforehand kicks him out of big, making that reconciliation? How do you feel about that? 
think they'll be rewarded. I would say that, uh, that that when the Bible talks about you know each person will be rewarded for what they have done, uh -huh. that that would come into play as well. Because we always say that you know we can't say whether somebody is saved or not. Um, and we can't, but we know we you know the fruit that somebody bears. And you know if you have to make up something that's a eulogy. You know, because that's where they live their life. With their fruits just come before them. It's not, you know, that's not on the other person. You know, being judgmental or anything like that. It's just, you know, you are what you are. You are what you put in there. If you did something or you do something, that's what you did or do. You can't make it nice if it's not, you know, already that. But um, mm -hmm. I, you know, I believe the Lord is, is fair-minded. I do believe that He, that nobody's perfect, and henceforth no one can earn heaven. But, you know, he talks about, you know, storing your treasures in heaven and not on earth. So if someone's storing their treasures in heaven and not on earth, and then other people, you know, you know, and they, and they may believe that, but they're not willing to sacrifice for it, you know, it would kind of be against the word we already know. That if we all get the same thing, but this person sacrificed. Sacrificing for what? But for, for the same thing heaven that we're all going to get, or are we sacrificing because we are storing those treasures in heaven? You know, you know, you know, bro, uh, you know, brother Brent. I think that's, that is brother Brent, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, but, but brother Brent, I, 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 th I think you're right. I think sometimes we get we get it mixed up. One of the things God does promise us salvation, because salvation, you know, when we believe in Jesus Christ, He said, "You shall be saved." Mm -hmm. But it also talks about reward according to our works. So not only do we get salvation, but we also are rewarded according to our works. To our works. Now, I I don't know what kind of reward God has uh, to give to us for our works, but the, but the scripture said we are rewarded according to our works. So though that person who has been carousing all these years and at the eleventh hour comes to Christ, he's going to be saved just like the rest of us. Mm -hmm. But as to what his rewards are, I have no earthly idea. Yeah, that's in the eyes of God. That's in the eyes of God. And I think that's exactly where it needs to stay. Yeah, in the eyes of God. And judged in the eyes of God. And judged in the eyes of God. But but we are quick to say, I'll tell you, I don't know. I'll be scared if I was here. We don't need, we don't know what that we don't we we that we have no heaven to put that person in, and we certainly don't have no hell to put that person in. We don't know what that what God relationship is with that person. Yeah. And there was a reference to the last will be first. Yeah, the last shall be first. Yeah, and the first will be last. Well, because remember the the uh, the. Let me tell you, the workers in the initial when they came, they came with an expectation of earning a certain amount of money. Mm -hmm. But the ones that came after them came with the expectation of the owner being fair and right and generous yeah they came with faith in the owner and when you come when yeah. you come to god with faith in the owner and he's the owner mm -hmm. i'm telling you on this you are on great sound footing mm -hmm. and that's what the that's what the other workers did so so that ends the lesson tonight are there any other questions any other thoughts I'm just saying quickly. I just think that you're, you're opening up that to my sort of can of worms, but it's not a can of worms, but it's something that I think that we as the body of Christ will enjoy um, to use for additional teaching. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I, I think so too, and I need to brush up on it. Yeah, yeah, some, yes. I was going to say, too, I, I was listening to what Brother Brent was saying and, and, and what you were saying. We think about people doing their works and, and things. Uh, and, and I think, I believe we will be rewarded for our works. But sometimes, too, and I think you even said it, our works, it, 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 even doing good works, if your heart is not right, you're not going to be yes. rewarded for those. So exactly. For somebody thinking they're going to get in there because it looks like they're doing good work. But you don't know how their heart is. Absolutely. So, mm -hmm. And the person that just came in to, you know, very well, I mean, he's going to get in. So, you know, we, we have to be careful that, too. Our work has to be from the heart. 
Not you, just the show, and you said that earlier. Yeah, and, and I think I, I'm I'm looking at what Sister Alethea uh, says. She says total submission is total submission, total acceptance is total acceptance. Yeah, and and the only way the word total is that's body, mind, and soul, which is spirit. All of us, God wants all of us, all of our being yeah. is to be committed to Him. All of it, all of it. Mm -hmm. We 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 can't we. We cannot serve God half-heartedly. Yeah. Can't just say I'm good. Okay. All right. Next, next, next week's lesson is entitled Feasting at God's Table. Feasting at God's Table. There are two passages of scripture I need to, for you to familiarize yourself. It's pretty much the same scripture, but it's taken from different gospels. Matthew, the 22nd chapter, verses 1 through 14. And Luke's gospel, four, um, chapter 14, verses 1 through 24. So I'm going to take excerpts out of both of those chapters in order, uh, in order, to, in order to do it. So Matthew, the 22nd chapter. Verses 1 through 14, and Luke, the 14th chapter, verses 1 to 24. Okay? Mama, you say, oh, guess what? 1 to 24, got it. Okay. Yeah, one, one, yeah. Luke, Luke, the 14th chapter, verses 1 through 24, and it's, it's entitled Feasting at God's Table. Is is there anything else to be brought up beforehand? Thank you, Sister Diane. I hope to have a good week. Yes, yeah, Saturday. Remember, we do have a church meeting at 10 o'clock. Okay. Um I'm 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 thinking, brother brother Farrington. I know I saw you uh, saw you on the line. Uh, can you give lead us out in prayer tonight, if you will, if you're able to, you if you're still online? Yes, sir. Okay, can you lead us lead us out in prayer tonight, please? Yes, sir. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this opportunity to hear more about your word. Heavenly Father, yes. we know that you are in control of all things. Heavenly yes. Father, we thank you for blessing our pastor and Sister Rosta for giving us this word about being in the vineyard. We know that we're not going to be judged by our works, Heavenly Father, but you got to keep faith in what your, your word says. Amen. Heavenly Father, we keep, keep our church family in a special way. Bless us in a special way, Father. Bless every home that's on the conference line tonight in a yes. special way. Father, we thank you for allowing your word to go out throughout this conference line and on YouTube and Facebook. Heavenly Father, yes. we thank you for all you have done in our lives and thank you for what you're going to do. We thank you for letting yes. us rise up this morning to see the bright Amen. sunshine. Amen. And with the same passion, your grace, Father, we see the sun going down in the same day. Heavenly Father, we thank you for all you have done. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 My brothers and sisters, again, thank you for joining us tonight. Uh, I hope that you have, if you've just learned one thing, then certainly that is a success and it's something for us to think about. And the bottom line is what motive, what is our motive in serving God? What is our motive in serving God? So again, God is a rewarder of those that diligently seek him. Amen. So I said, good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, Sister Rosa and others that I'm hopefully I've hopefully I've gone ahead and spoken to each of you tonight. We thank God for you.